What is going on everybody? It's your boy Titanic Feed Jack. I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome everyone back to the channel. How y'all doing? What is going on with you guys? Hit that like button for me. Help the channel grow. Anyone new watching for the very first time, I'd like to welcome you to the channel as well. And if you like the content that you're watching, go ahead and sub up to the channel. Also turn on those post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. And like I said earlier, let's smash that like button. Let's make that YouTube algorithm go crazy so they can promote the video out to other people on this platform. Today we're taking a look at a sneaker. Came out last weekend. Not a lot of hype behind it. I got my personal pair in. You're gonna know what it is as soon as you see the box. It's a Jordan 3. Give you guys a brief look at that box tag. And I'm gonna go ahead and read it. It says Air Jordan 3 Retro Color White, Race of Blue, Black, Side 15, Personal Pair. And the retail price is 190 US dollars. Flip the top open. I do not see any box stamps in here. And this pair I got off the sneakers that came straight from the source themselves, straight from Nike. And uh, this is your tissue. You got that cement print tissue. Kind of slick on one side and rough on the other side. Here we go guys, the canoes, the Air Jordan 3 Race of Blue. Yes, guys, here we go. We have the Air Jordan Retro 3 in the race of blue colorway. Let's jump right into it. This shoe is made on an all-white base. The leather on these pair of threes are nice and tumbled. If you can see that, nice and tumbled right here on the upper. But on this part is a, a smooth out leather. And it's still good leather anyways. Yeah, as you guys know, we have Retro 3 all the time and for the most part the leathers on them are pretty good you got your white hits right here on your lace you have that race of blue right here and right here as well you got that that gray going on right here and you have race of blue going around your ankle and one of my favorite part of the retro three is the heel and the two guys you have that animal print cement print whatever term you guys prefer we have that on the heel and toe and a lot of people are making comments that the heel and toe uh, leather is different is darker than what we normally get and i beg to differ we have got this before we got this on the red uh the red trees i think those are called Yes, and on those threes, this material is 3M. As you can see right now in the illustration, the heel and the toe is in 3M action, guys. 
looking at the midsole, you have that race of blue colorway going on here. You also have that white going around your air housing, clear bubble white inside. Then at the very bottom, you have that tech gray colorway, which leads to the outsole. The majority of the outsole is tech gray, and you have that hit of race of blue here, hit of white here with the race of blue jaw and wording right there. Looking at the heel of the sneaker, you got your white heel tab. Yes, it is very stiff. You have your race of blue jaw and jump man and the letters air underneath it. And as we discussed earlier, you have that cement print, which is darker than we normally get, but we have had it before. Midsole, race of blue, white, tech, gray. Going on to the medial side of the sneaker, you have more of that tumble white leather. You have your race of blue eyelets here and here. You have white going on here, and you have that tech gray going on right there. The leather is smooth right here, not as tumble as it is here, but however, it's still a good grain of leather. And your midsole again with that white and race of blue going around that air housing with the clear bubble and the white on the inside. Tech gray at the very bottom. I'll just take the uh, shoe tree and the stuffing out of the sneaker. Here we go. Callbo shoe tree. Say it's side 15, 16. And you have the Jordan Jumpman there. Nothing special. And let's take a look at the leather. Pretty good grain of leather on this sneaker. You have tech gray leather going halfway up to this point on your tongue. Comes with one set of laces, these white flat laces. You have a race of blue jaw jump man stitched on right here on some white tumble leather on the tongue. Go ahead and move this out of the way, flip it around. Here you guys go. The sizing tape. US size 15, production date. December the 16th of last year until March of March 18th of this year. So that's quite a few of these out there. Didn't seem like it on the uh release day, but now they're restocking like every day. So I feel there's a lot of these out of there. So if you trying to get a pair for retail, it should be easier than normal to get a pair for retail. You have a tech gray sock liner here, and you have a white insert with the race of blue jaw and jump man in here, and your size 15 sizing sticker. So let me know what you think of these sneakers, guys. Uh, me, personally, I was on the fence about these, but once I learned that these had 3M, it kind of was the deal breaker for me, and I was like, it's a cool sneaker to add to the collection, so, I went on and cop. I got them off of the sneakers app and they came pretty quick. So let me know what y'all think of your sneaker down in the comment section. And I'm, I love chopping it up with you guys in the comment section. And just as a reminder, on the way out the door, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack. I'm signing out.